for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymaddencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys what I think is the best economic set in the game. It's not about making coins, it's about saving coins. And this is useful for many people, maybe not the majority, but I'll get into that in the later part of the video. So first, just a quick disclaimer on it. If you're a god squad, you might not like it, depending on how your team's constructed. But I think anything below a 96 overall can benefit from this set, personally. Now, before we get into the video, guys, make sure to comment as per usual. And make sure to like. Let's see if we can hit 100 likes, possibly. Can you guys hit that? You guys have been killing the like button in the last few weeks. So hopefully we can get it back up there. And then just sub. We're at 2,000 2, whatever subs. I haven't checked today. I haven't had time, but that sounded very dumb because it's a quick thing to do. But anyways, just go drop a sub and then we get into the video. So best set. I'm going to go with over to Color Smash. Now, there's going to be two of these sets is what I predict, right? Because the defense and there's going to be an offensive. So you could do both. You could do one. You could do none. But let me tell you why. So the set that I'm going to be looking at is... The JJ Watt Color Smash Master. So you look at the set, right? There is Derwin James, Bradley Chubb, Akeem Talib, and Miles Jack. Now, why is this set even relevant, right? So throughout the year, I have done this type of set in multiple ways. Now, if you guys don't know, this set is equivalent to. Let me go back a few. Let's see where I've done a few. I haven't done them recently, but I used to do them all the time in archives. So like. If you guys played throughout the year, right? One set would be, and I remember specifically was this one. It was like this set down and down here. Where you add 10 players, you get them all back, and you get to pick. I think it's a pick five. You get to pick five Nat, and you get to keep it. So you sell the Calvin, right? And then you, you keep the cards. And it usually ends up equaling that you get a better value per coins. So just giving you an example of the set that I've done. I've done all majority of them, but that was one that came to mind. I did the Night Guardian one too. Now, if you look through this set right here, you're gonna see that these are very useful players. I was going over yesterday in my video how useful they are. Even the least useful guy is still gonna be a monster. So look, the way this would work is, JJ Watt right now is going for about 490K, it's 500K. With reduction, you could probably sell them and make about 450K back, right? So remember that 450K is how much you can make back. So this set's gonna cost you. Remember that it's a bad, right now it's before everyone gets out of school, so they're kind of, there might be a little higher price. If you snipe these out properly, you could probably get a Derwin James for 200, all right? I'm Bradley Chubb, you probably get him for about 200k also, just sit here sniping them. I recommend sniping, but up to you. You probably get them for 200, 200, let's go with 400k, 200, 20k is nothing for sniping, you just sit there long enough, you'll find it. 600k, and then Miles Jack's the final one. He's more expensive, but I think that's just a quantity more so than how much he's actually valued at. But let's say we let's give him 210. This is going to cost you 810,000 coins to do the set, right? So now you go, you could, you do the set, you get all four back net. So now you got four nat players, 97 overalls. That is why I told you that these cards, you realize that this Derwin James doesn't have an overall? I don't know why. Anyways, so you realize that these four cards are going to be 97 overalls and chemmed up or powered up, they're going to be 99s total. So you could potentially have four 99s in your team. And for any team that's useful, even for my team personally, but the way I have it built, I wouldn't really need them. But for any team that's useful, so if you're a team below a 97 overall, like you're 96 or below, this will probably be useful for almost anyone's team, all four players. And again, if you don't want them, you could just sell them. So then go at it this way. It used to be more worthwhile when training was a lot more expensive. Now training is not as expensive. So let's forget that actually. Because in, in the past, you could get a card like those um, back when training was expensive. You could sell it for a thousand training, quick sell for 2,000, a thousand training back when it was useful. If you're new to Madden, you don't even know what I'm talking about. So ignore that. But if you're old, you remember back when you could sell them for training and make a pretty good profit and keep some of the cards. So now for me personally, why I would do this set besides the fact that that so you sell them for 800 I mean you get them for 810 you sell JJ Watt for 450 that leaves you with 360k coins spent right so now you divide 360k 360k by four that leaves you with what like I'll do it in the calculator just so I don't people will say I was off by like 5k if I do this in my head right now 360 I was I could have done it but 360k divided by four Make sure my math's correct, right? It's 810 subtracted from 360. I mean, from 450, whatever, is going to be 360 divided by 4. So that's going to be, in case you could see it, 90,000 per card you're spending. So 
So you're getting these cards for about 90k. Tell me where else in this game you're getting 497 overalls for 97k a piece, for 90k a piece. Obviously, it could be a little more or less depending on what you get the cards for. So let's say that the highest range you're gonna get them for is about 110 each, and the lowest you're gonna get them is for 90k, depending on what you snap the cards for. So you're gonna have a card, a Derwin James, which chemed up with Sprinter will have a or powered up, powered up with Sprinter and Chems will have a 97 speed, maxed out coverage is almost with John Madden, maxed out hit power. Gonna have high play rec, high tackle. He's six foot three and he can catch. You're going to have a right end that is literally comparable to this JJ Watt. Comparable to this JJ Watt when you look at it. If you if you power this guy up, he's gonna have maxed out finesse, maxed out block shedding, maxed up uh, high play rec, good tackle, almost maxed out strength, and then above 90 speed and acceleration, and he's six foot four, and he can jump. I already know that for a fact because I was checking it out. So he's gonna be an all-around beast at right end. So my, my point of this is so far is that these cards, you could literally get 499s if you power them up properly. 499s for 90k each. It's, in my eyes, the best set in the game, hands down. Because if I told you guys to make a set right now, to make 100k, right? Cool, 100k is cool. But if you're trying to build, a lot of guys right now are just trying to build a team. Think about it. If you have a god squad already, like me, I mean, I wouldn't call myself a god squad anymore. I'm kind of behind now. But at the time, when you have, when you have a really good team, you're not so worried about building it anymore. You're more worried about doing other things in the game, making coins and stuff. But there's a lot of, there's a lot of people who are still trying to build their team. They're still grinding. So if you're still doing that, this, this set's perfect. If you told me that I could get 499s for 90k each per card, so that'd be 360k, I would do it in a heartbeat. If my team wasn't set already, like I couldn't use a keep because of where, well, I'm going to show you stats, but I couldn't use a keep because of the way my team's constructed right now. But if you power them up and chem them up properly, you will have a 95 to 96 speed. Depending on what you if you have John Madden, you have maxed out press, maxed out zone, maxed out man, um, close to maxed out excel, maxed out well maybe maxed out jumping. It depends on exactly how your chems work. You'll have high play rec, close to maxed out agility. He's six foot one, and I'm pretty sure he's decent catching. And he's 92. He has good catching, 92 catching, and he's decent in the ball cat with ball carry move, so he can decently return a pick. So that card on any team would be good. And if it's a if it's a theme team, forget about it. He's not he's he's one of the best corners in the game. Now this Miles Jack. He's always been a coverage. He's a coverage beast. He's kind of like a Leighton Vander Esch type. He's decently tall, not too tall. But I'm not even going to go over the stats in this. You guys are already getting the point, right? So I, my recommendation for almost all teams right now would be to, if you're not above a 97 over, if you're like a 96 or below, do this set. Don't keep the JJ Watt. You sell the JJ Watt. That leaves you with that leaves you with 360,000 that you lost. But you're getting 497s, and if you put them up with, even if you don't even power them up, just chemmed up, they'll hit at least a 98. They'll all, they'll all go to 98 with chems. So you're gonna get 498s at minimum for 360, with the potential for 499s if you have it right. Derwin James, one of the best safeties in the game. Best row, one of the best red ends. Dope, chemmed up right, does keep Tulip's gonna be a beast. And this Miles Jack, he's always, he always plays out of his mind. He always plays above his stats. I loved Miles Jack. I used to have the Harvest one. I did the Harvest set too. That was another example. So I'd highly recommend these cards. Now, there's gonna be an offensive one probably too. So that's where that's that's where you might want to wait a little bit. Now, this applies to the next one too. So the offensive set's gonna be the same thing. I told you guys don't do it day one. Never do it day one because day one, the prices are higher. JJ Watt goes more, but the prices are higher. I'd wait. You wait a few days. Now this JJ Watt's gonna be very very beneficial. Now there's gonna be an offensive one. Who's the offensive one gonna be? I don't know. If it's in the same category as JJ Watt, I don't even know who the offensive version of a JJ Watt would be personally. I don't know what they're what they're doing this by. So. I, if you want, wait till the offensive ones come out and see how that, what that is first, because it could be an awesome card. I don't know. Imagine like a color smash, like Patrick Mahomes, but he's the MVP, so that wouldn't even matter. But you get the point, and that would be awesome. So I'd wait if you if you want an offensive player. If you're just looking for, I personally prefer the defensive set, just because I don't need many offensive. My offense is set already, and I feel like a lot of people's offenses are set. But defenses, you can always make better. Offenses, you kind of get what you like, and you stay with that for a little bit, you get comfortable. But personally, I'd do it. I'd 100% do it. Also, quick reminder, if you're trying to get any of those cards, I still have the 300k giveaway running. I have a video on my channel a few days ago posted on it. You will see it. It's probably like four or five videos back. And on my Twitter page, I posted it. It's probably a few, probably a few tweets back. I had to look for it a little bit, but it will be there. Go to my Twitter page, poodle underscore gaming underscore. Maybe you win that and you could buy that whole set. Perfect. Or maybe that's what I'll do. My next giveaway, maybe I'll do. I'll buy that whole set for you guys. I think that'd be pretty cool. That, 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 that'd be pretty cool, right? I'd give you guys the coins so you guys can go forward that set. And that'd be cool. And obviously not buy because I can't give you guys the NAT cards, but you guys get the point. So yeah, go go into that. Give yourself a chance of winning that. That'd be really cool if you guys could win that. I'll probably be drawing in the next day or so. Didn't forget about it. 
it's been a few days i was waiting for some more entries it's been a little little entries were slower this time but so it's a very very low pool but whatever i'll just i'll just draw it and then i have one more to do because i got donated the um 700k but that's about it so thank you so much for watching if you if you've been enjoying the content i've been trying some new york content lately if you've been enjoying it make sure you leave a like a comment and a sub and uh by the way before before i get out i'm moving the setup again i have an even better spot I'm moving the camera right there it will look so much better with depth of field. I'm going to get a new lens for my camera and some better softbox lighting, and it's going to look awesome. Probably be doing that within the next few days. So I just got to order a bunch of stuff on Amazon, but that's it, guys. Make sure to sub. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.